Thank you, Aki, and good afternoon, everyone, <clears throat> and Happy New Year. <clears throat> Thank you for joining us. I appreciate the opportunity to be back in Japan to discuss how the One World Alliance, including American Airlines, can support Japan Airlines. As many of you know, last month, One World, American Airlines, and our partner, TPG, made a substantial offer to assist JAL and the government of Japan in the effort to secure JAL's long-term future. Today, we are outlining a significantly enhanced offer, and as part of that, we are pleased that three of our other founding members of One World, British Airways, Qantas Airways, and Cathay Pacific, have joined us at American Airlines as we offer support with enhancements to our relationships with JAL. In summary, we have pre presented a proposal that will deliver roughly $2 billion in value to JAL over three years from ongoing and incremental revenue as we commit to continue and strengthen our airline's commercial relationships with JAL. While many of these synergies will be driven by forging stronger ties with JAL through stronger commercial partnerships and cooperation, our proposal also brings another crucial value to JAL, and that is the expertise of partners who can assist JAL in a complicated restructuring. If this offer is welcomed by the relevant parties that are leading this effort to revitalize Japan Airlines. Additionally, if our participation is welcomed, One World, American Airlines, and TPG, one of the world's leading private investment firms, are prepared to invest up to $1.4 billion as part of a comprehensive government-led plan to return JAL to financial vitality. This is a $300 million increase from our previous proposal, while JAL and the Japanese government might decide to address the capital requirements internally, and we would certainly understand and respect that, our offer of capital would also be available if this were deemed an appropriate resource to aid in the restructuring of JAL. This proposal demonstrates One World's extraordinary commitment to JAL. It brings stability and certainty to Japan Airlines at a time when most needed, as it faces turbulent times over the coming weeks and months. We believe our proposal is in the best interests of JAL and its employees and customers, and the government and taxpayers of Japan. It provides JAL and the government with the greatest long-term value, with the lowest risk, and the most stability. We are here with an enhanced offer because JAL is very important to One World, a collection of 11 of the finest brands in the world. And that is where we strongly believe it should remain. The value that One World offers JAL can't be overstated. With links to approximately 700 global destinations in nearly 150 countries, One World is the only alliance with partners on all continents. And it is the only alliance that has been profitable since it was founded 10 years ago. Our total value proposition has three components. The first consists of enhancements to our commercial relationships with JAL that will solidify its existing revenue and drive additional revenue. The second is an offer to assist JAL with its restructuring from partners with a track record of successful airline restructurings. And the third is the improved capital investment of $1.4 billion that I mentioned earlier, which includes up to $1.1 billion from TPG and up to $300 million from American Airlines One World. Starting with the enhanced commercial relationships, today One World provides JAL with approximately $500 million in annual revenue. 
This revenue will total $1.5 billion over the next three years and will offer JAL critical stability as it plots its long-term success. But this revenue would be greatly disrupted if JAL were to switch alliances. As part of our enhanced offer, we have presented to JAL concrete and realistic proposals to increase this revenue by roughly another $500 million spread over three years, bringing ongoing and incremental revenue from JAL's commercial relationships with One World Partners to $2 billion over that period of time. This incremental $500 million in revenue would come from several sources. As you likely know, American Airlines has proposed to JAL that our two airlines promptly apply for antitrust immunity between the US and Japan. And we strongly believe that American is the best and only partner with which JAL can obtain this transpacific antitrust immunity. Conservatively, antitrust immunity with JAL will offer JAL an estimated $100 million per year in new revenue once a joint business agreement is in place. As part of our enhanced offer, American will guarantee this $100 million in new annual revenue for the first three years of the venture, bringing an additional $300 million in value to JAL. In other words, we are so confident that we can deliver that, this benefit, American Airlines will guarantee it for three years to remove uncertainty. Similarly, British Airways has proposed a series of enhancements to its business relationships with JAL that will result in approximately $200 million in new revenue over three years. These enhancements initially will include a significant increase in code sharing between JAL and BA from London's Heathrow Airport, and subsequently, an immunized joint venture with JAL between Europe and Japan that will expand code sharing even more. There are several other important components to BA's offer that will benefit JAL financially, and will also benefit Japan-Europe customers with improved service. And my good friend and colleague from British Airways, Roger Maynard, will offer more details on that shortly. I'm also pleased to say that Qantas has offered JAL its expertise in relationship, in relation to its two-brand strategy and low-cost carrier business strategy, as you will hear from our friend Rob Gurney of Qantas. Simon Large of uh, Cathay Pacific will also uh, emphasize how JAL, as One World's premier and exclusive partner in Northeast Asia, will wholly benefit from the Alliance's need for access to the region and the complementary nature of One World's networks. As a second component, we've offered JAL the expertise, experience, and guidance of partners with a strong track record in successfully restructuring airlines. This includes direct support and cooperation in areas such as fleet planning, network analysis, financial forecasting, revenue management, and maintenance operations, to name just a few. Since the 2003 launch of its own turnaround plan, American Airlines has implemented cost savings and structural improvements in the areas that I mentioned and others, which saved the company approximately $6 billion and which allowed American to face the industry's many challenges. Similarly, TPG has a long history of success in the airline and travel industries, including helping companies overcome challenges. JAL clearly faces many challenges and we are ready to help if invited. The third component is the very substantial $1.4 billion direct capital investment I mentioned earlier, including the $300 million contribution from American One World. 
So in summary, One World's proposal provides the most benefits and stability and the fewest risks to JAL and its stakeholders, as well as to the government and taxpayers of Japan. And it will allow Japan Airlines to prosper as a world-class global airline for the long term.